What is going on guys? I got a customer's truck in the driveway. A little Mazda pickup. Same thing as a Ford Ranger really, if you kind of take a look. So, it jumped time. And the tensioner was bad. So I went ahead and put a new tensioner on. There's a bunch of videos about it being a nightmare. Get the tension off of this thing so you can get the belt on. And a bunch of people show you making a tool where they take a socket and grind it out and all this other nonsense or a welder. and. That works, but right now where I'm at, I don't have any torches, and I just can't do all that. So I wanted to show you what you can do. If you find a bolt, one of them will probably work right out of here. On the back, you can take a socket. I used a half inch, 15 sixteenths, and then I found a bolt to kind of make a little shimmy there for it. But if you tighten that down, there's the back of the tensioner, okay? See here? So as you're tightening the bolt, it applies the pressure to the tensioner to release all the tension. So just, you know, gonna go through your toolbox, dig up a few things, and it's, it's real simple. Tighten it down, put the tension on it or whatever, and there you go. So not too bad. Also another common mistake on these, especially with this 2.3. All right, up here you're gonna notice, if I can get it to zoom in, that's a diamond right there. You don't want the diamond up top. On these, you gotta look for a triangle. See if I can get in there. And, there it is. Triangle. You look real closely. If I can get, the, I'm sorry about the camera. There it is. Triangle to triangle are your timing marks for the cam. Down on the bottom, if I can get it for your oil pump, it's diamond. And I, I know you can't see it. Let me get it. See if I can get in there. There you go. Diamond to diamond on that. And yes, it's a line. It's, I, had the, I had the phone twisted. On the crank, some of them you're going to see, if I can get down in here, some of them you're going to see a dot. Not the keyway. Look for the dot. And it aligns with the notch on the bottom of the housing. Now sometimes there might be a little punch or something else, but in my case, it's a little bit of orange paint in there. But see, so you got to have it perfectly aligned like I got it right there. Not that bad. I mean, the job's kind of a pain, but to be honest with you, you know, some of these dual overhead cams and, and stuff are way worse than this, so. All right, so hopefully that helped you guys out. I only saw one, uh, one other video where a guy did it, and I wanted to test it myself, and it works. All right, guys, more videos to come.